Look at my babies! Camper family and good morning. Good morning. And camper good morning. family. Harrison, look at the mouse, bud. Do you want to see it? You turn this way. He really likes cars. Some nice noise. Yeah, it is. And that's the 9 to 18 month hat, so we're going to have to Oh. <laughs> we're going to have to get you a new hat, bud. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what'd you think? What'd you think, little guy? I love it. Did you like it? Oh, he hasn't seen a lot of people before. Whoa, the sun's bright, isn't it? Yeah, that's why we got your little sun hat on you. Look, look right into it. <laughs> you, oh man. Woo, you want to go head back to the car, pal? Yeah, how about that? We can do that. Well, that was fun. I don't know that he liked getting back into his car seat he though. Did not. He wanted to stay outside. Yeah, he he was not a big fan of what was happening. His hat is too big though. Or I know I can't. Too small. Right, and I don't know what they could hear of it. So if if that did work out, I'm sorry that we're talking about the hat again. But Carrie just uh, picked out that hat, and it's a 12 to 18 month. I'm sorry, nine, nine to 18, 18, and it has like a little thing that you can tighten on the back. Yeah. And clearly his head is too big for it already. I mean, we know he's got a big old brain, but... Yeah, he's gonna have a big head like his Uncle Ryan. Jeez. Is that nice to say? Oh, he admits that. So, I'm thinking that when we get home, since it's so nice out, maybe we can take him back outside. Yeah. Yeah, because it's I so warm out. It's very warm. It's like 65 degrees. <laughs> right. So, he, will he need a, like a jacket if he's out longer? Because I know we were only outside for like 10 minutes or so. Like, um, how's that I'm work with sure. kids? We probably will put them in a jacket because they'll probably sit in the shade. It'll be a little bit cooler. Sure. So. We could always sit, like, you know, we could always walk around town and go find a bench, too. Right. But yeah. he seems to, like, he hasn't touched grass yet. I, I know. I'd like to find a dry spot for him to sit down. I know. That would be really cool. Yeah. Well, let's, let's go do it then. All right. So we did a thing yesterday. We made a phone call. And where did we call? The fertility clinic. And how did it go? It went well. Let's just play on the clip. Sure. All right. All right. Uh, hang on one moment. Let me see if she's available, okay? Thank you. <gasps> I'm so excited. Harrison, do you know what Mama's doing right now? Okay. I mean, this is the first step. This is the first step. We're making the first step to extend our family. We're doing it right now. Today, March 27th. Is it the 27th? I really don't know what day it is today. Hey Google, what day is it? It is Wednesday, the 27th of March. Yes. I was right. Remember me. Hi. Um, we, the last time we were there was probably a year and a half ago. You helped us have our little boy in July. Uh -huh. And we are thinking of extending our family. So we were trying to get some information on like what your protocols are. Like, do we have to wait until a year or things like that? Okay. How do you spell your last name? That's okay. Well, how long ago had the been here? Um, when did we see them last? In December? I think so. We had our last ultrasound with you in like November, December of 2017 because our son was born July 2018. Okay. Well, how excited. How's he doing? He's so good. 
He's perfect. Oh, he's awesome. he's great. So we're wondering, before we even make the appointment, do we need to wait until she... Yeah, should I wait until I start menstruating again, or... Well, like, when, I'm sorry, when was the delivery? July of 2018. Oh, wow. But have you been nursing? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you're not going So basically she said you need to wean Harrison uh -huh. and then wait for your menstrual cycle to start up. Yeah. And then she also said something like if it hadn't if it takes more than 35 days then they can then jump start it. They can jump start it. Yeah. Probably with like a birth control pill. So just a couple questions and do we have enough <gasps> breast milk stored up to continue to We have a lot of milk stored up. But we do not have enough to last him through to a year. Okay. I'm not ready to do that anyways. You're not ready to wean him? No. Okay. No, not at all. <laughs> now, I would never obviously force you. I mean, mm -hmm. I know it's our decision, but it's your body. Right. So you need to, first and foremost, make those calls because that is your Thank body. You for making that clear. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just making sure this is how I feel, mm -hmm. you know, how we feel together. But, um, I didn't think just, I'm, I'm, I didn't think we were stopping breastfeeding him at one. No, and we don't, I was going to wait until he was ready. Right. Until he was done. Right. Feeding off of you or breast milk? Feeding off of me. So. At one year, years old, the pediatrician normally recommends to start incorporating regular cow's milk. Okay. Into their diet. Okay. Too. I mean, they can obviously still have breast milk, but. So then, what does? What if he wants to be breastfed till he's two? Are we gonna put off? I don't know. That's a big decision. It is a big decision. Uh, just a just a thought, and obviously we love our fertility clinic. Yeah. But our actual doctor who delivered the baby. Right. Does that too. Yes. Do you think we should maybe consult with, consult with him? I would not be opposed to it because I loved our OB. Maybe we should just ask and, and you know, uh, yeah. just to see what they say. Okay. And it's not about getting a second opinion. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, I, in my field, I love getting different, okay. you know, opinions from okay. everyone. Because you never know. Somebody might have something. Right. And I don't know that... I didn't know that if you got pregnant, mm -hmm. your breast milk would sometimes dry up. I didn't think that was a thing. Just because of the hormones, I believe. But I... I can cause it. Just like if I were to... If my Aunt Flo were to visit, mm -hmm. um, my milk production could greatly be reduced for a few days during that time as well. It's just hormonal things can cause it to change. Okay. Yeah. Here, bud. Hmm. All right. Well, then, I guess, do you want to call that place now, or you want to wait a little bit? Um, we could probably give him a quick call. Yeah, I mean, just to see. Might as well. Okay. I'm sorry, but he's the sweetest. So, you are so sweet. Carrie? Yes. Oh, okay. So what happened was uh, our doctor wasn't available and our midwife who worked with the doctor, she's at the hospital all week. We are, Carrie's on call now. She gave her number basically. Yes. Uh, so whenever they get a chance, they'll get back to her. I'm hoping um, that we'll be able to get it, you know, not just for you guys, but really for us too, because um, we want to be able to document as much as we can, uh, you know, because living here, if we do extend our family while we're here, we're not going to be able to go through the same, like, rigmarole as we did with Harrison, you know, because the 
the kids are gonna have to share a room for a little while so we you know we already have a design for the room obviously we could incorporate some new stuff in there but I, I want to make sure that we I want to make sure that we're able to do as much as we can you know and document it because it's gonna be a little different process than when we had Harrison so hopefully we'll be able to get that if not maybe Carrie will be able to um, film herself after so she can have that smile or you know or that frown. or frown whatever it is um but either way it looks like we might have to wait and uh you know kind of go from there which kind of puts a little dent in things but for us fine. it is yeah it is but you know one of the things we did talk about was being able to kind of have if we got lucky enough to get pregnant mm -hmm. have um a new baby around a certain time right you know so that way it was uh you know, farther away from birthdays and nowhere near Christmas, you know, <laughs> but hey, if we have a little Christmas baby, oh well. bunch. Is he making fun of you? Is he making fun of you? You know that's your best buddy. <laughs> oh, look at her playing with him. You're such a good kitty, Rusey. <laughs> good girl, honey. You play with your brother. <laughs> oh, man. That was so cute, bud. You know, when he does these things, I'm like, <laughs> like, I'm not sad, you know, about having to wait a little while. I mean, we still have the phone call. I keep forgetting because we, we didn't get a hold of anyone in our primary doctor's office. Right. You know, so we still have that call to wait for, but for right now, we have some big, like, things to think about, you know. Like, do you begin the weaning process? Not until he's a year at least. I mean, I didn't want to wean him myself at all, so right. that was a hard pill to swallow. Does it, so weaning includes, he couldn't even, uh, what if you pumped enough? No, I have to stop. See, what if you pumped enough now? Oh, I... I mean, that's a thought, right? Yeah, but I don't know. So, okay, so the doctor said you basically had to be, you know, he had to be weaned and you had to, you know, be a woman again. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, Rusey, that's a good girl, Rusey. Um, but yeah, like if you pumped enough ahead of time, like we've had some friends who pumped their entire, like, stock for a long time. And that's right. just what they, that's true. That's what they use. So is that something that... You might want to consider or I don't know. I don't know. So if Harrison is a year in July, mm -hmm. what if he's not ready to be done? What if he's not ready to be weaned? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> what if I'm not ready? Right, so then what do I mean, do you think we should just put a pin in it for a little while? Yeah, I mean definitely we should put a pin in it until he turns one. I just don't think that's the way that it works. I mean, I'm not pushing for you to, to wean or anything, just to be clear. Uh -huh. But I mean, so everybody who gets pregnant, like, right after they've had a baby, mm -hmm. they're not breastfeeding then? Or, I mean, is it is it literally impossible? No, it's not impossible. Okay. You can continue to breastfeed while pregnant. Um, from what I understand, I don't think there's any literature to say that it's, like, dangerous to the next pregnancy or anything so so then why do you have to, you have to stop also to start your cycle like halfway through the pregnancy your milk starts going back to being colostrum mm -hmm. so then you know if you were breastfeeding you might be weaning at that point because because the baby's are like an older baby needs milk not colostrum or the older baby needs right milk. 
<laughs> Baby needs milk. Whee! <laughs> Baby Whee! needs milk. So Harrison, tell everyone the bad news. Oh my gosh, what's the bad news? The bad news is we didn't go outside anymore today because we took a nap. Fee oh no! Fo fum. I see a little Harrison. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna get ya. Uh -oh. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. <laughs> get her. Oh, not oh, me. Oh no, you're getting the wrong bubble. <laughs> Arr, are you trying to hide? Is she chasing you? Is she chasing you? <laughs> Arr. No one. <laughs> Arr, he's really trying to hide. Let he's so see. cute. Harrison, why are you trying to hide? Harrison, I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. The claw's gonna get ya. Uh -oh. The claw's gonna get ya. What are you doing, bud? What are you doing, bud? Do you want to see if he'll get me? What do you mean? Oh, if he'll come over so, and get you. Lately, because we play this game, he's getting me, he's getting me. If I lay down on the floor, sometimes he'll crawl over to me and he'll get me. And it's so cute. Oh, when he climbs on you and he like puts his belly right into you? Yes! You wanna go get mama? Let's go get her. Oh, you wanna get me? You wanna get, you wanna get me? You wanna go get her? No, I wanna jump. I wanna jump. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> you're so silly. Okay. I'm okay. trying to see if he'll do it. Well, it didn't work out the way we planned, but you're kind of getting her now, aren't you? Yeah. Get her. Get, me. Get her. Get her, Harrison. We showed him how he like leans his head back and he's like, I'm getting her. I'm oh, getting yeah. her. I'm getting her. I'm getting her. Oh, you're going to stand up? All right. Come on, bud. I'm not going to help you. You got to pull yourself. <laughs> Is he trying to eat my hand or his hand? He might be. Whoa, you did it! He pulls himself up. You did it! Hi! Oh, oh. he wants the camera. You gonna give everybody kisses? Mwah. Mwah. Oh, this is a crazy video so far, huh? It's a crazy video. Woo, okay. So anyway, uh, today was pretty cool, guys. We, like we said, we didn't get to take Harrison outside, but um, we did want to show you our call to the doctor yesterday. Um, I mean, we went out earlier. We just didn't right, we just again yeah, I didn't. He took a nap. I took a nap. Yeah. Right. Uh, we're gonna, you know, wait for the other doctor to give us a call back. You know, they're probably delivering babies. Um, until then, we're just gonna hope that there's a different option. Uh, yes. So we don't have to stop weaning. Yeah. I mean, or we don't have to wean. <laughs> stop weaning. Uh, start weaning? <laughs> yeah. Hi. Our OB might say, yeah, we can continue to move forward without right. doing that. So right. all doctors are different in their like rules and regulations, I guess, for and when it, it comes to that. At so. first when we called the fertility clinic too, it took her a second to like remember who we were. Yeah. So oh, she, she might oh. not remember that you got pregnant on the first try. You know, so maybe when people go to the fertility clinic, they're like, they have problems, so they just want to like get everything out of the way, you know, so. Well, yeah, I feel like a lot of the clients have to use like hormones right. and, and other treatments like that, so, which is something that they wouldn't want to pass to. And we were thankful that she even answered the question because yeah. that's normally probably something that they would have made us go in to get a consult for. And the I think the last time we went in there, it's like three hundred dollars just to walk in the door, yeah, and say hey. I think it was like two ninety seven or something <laughs> like that. Oh no, poor Primmy, 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 honey, you can jump over. Come on, baby. She tries to go through. Um, she gets. Stuck. I don't know. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate it. <laughs> and we'll catch you on the flippity. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's the end screen! Yay! Today's shout out goes to... And if you missed yesterday's video, look right there. And if you want to subscribe, click right up there. <laughs> By the way, Carrie, I really like your shirt. I like your shirt too. Where'd you get it? Currently our shirts are available at our Teespring store. 
Go check it out. Thanks, guys.